So I have something called aphantasia, and I didn't actually know the sensation had a name until fairly recently. My partner was looking at Reddit one day and they saw a thread about it, so they turned around and asked me, hey, did you know there are people who can't visualize at all? It's called aphantasia. And honestly, I just looked back and was like, that has a name? <laughs> we had a long talk afterward and they were baffled. Like, how could I be an artist if I couldn't visualize? And honestly, it's really hard. I remember as a child, my, um, my barrier to entry, I guess, would have been a lot higher than normal people. I distinctly remember watching Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and I loved the idea. I thought it was super cool. I decided I wanted my own imaginary friends. I wanted small dragon friends, and I wanted to draw them. So I tried, and I tried, and I tried, but just never looked right. Like, I know what a Western depiction of a dragon is, and I can identify it on sight, but I couldn't see it. I just knew that what I was drawing wasn't it. I just couldn't articulate it. Um, as a result, I only really dabbled in art until my senior year. I got a fantastic art teacher who taught me how to draw from reference, which is something that I honestly hadn't really considered before that. And after a lot of practice, I started to show signs of skill. Um, eventually, I actually began to develop ways to view the world so I can recreate my memories onto the page. And I've poured thousands of hours into art since then. And I might not be great, but my aphantasia is not going to stop me from getting better. <laughs>